everybody's <laughs> complaining about my microphone over here. Welcome back to the road show, everybody. I got myself a nice little python here. Good little python. Hey, let's go over to Elizabeth. Yeah, I'm just going to back up Elizabeth. over here. No, that's Come okay. That's all okay. right. I'm good. I have a I'm friend good. for you. That's, I'm good. I'm bye. just going to hang bye. out with the tortoise over here. You chicken. And what do we got over here? A gator. Yeah, this is Walt, the American alligator. Ooh. He's nine years old. He's about 100 pounds. He's almost six feet tall. I think we're going to lose a frog. Long. I, I just want to say, no, perilously close to death over here. I'll tell you what, though, this sucker likes to squeeze. Hey, Rick, can you take a look at this? Now, why aren't they eating each other? Well, well hopefully, if, he does if squeeze certain me. ones would eat each other, but we're, we separated the ones that would eat each other. Well, that's oh, good. we did, but there's not there's not very many feet in between any of these animals. Who who likes to eat who here? Um. Let's see. The frog is a carnivore, which means he likes to eat other animals, uh -huh. but okay. he's not big enough to eat any. <laughs> And there he yes. went. He's not big enough to eat any of these animals. No. If you guys have a cockroach problem, he'll take care of that for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. So helpful. He, Very helpful he, in that. He pees thing. as he hops. Yeah, he does. Um, did did that not hurt him? That was no, that didn't hurt him. Okay. He can jump from tree to tree in the rainforest. Wow. Yeah. We have another one who looks like he's going to be a jumper over here, Rick, on this corner. The little gecko can jump, too. Yeah. He likes to live in trees. Now, here, hang on one second. I just have one question. Um, I think my... Car insurance rate is a little bit Gecko. high. If we could talk after the show, that would be great. Yeah. <laughs> hey, tell us where you guys are from. Uh, we're from Regal Reptiles. Regal Reptile? Where are you located? They are Regal. We're, um, we just moved. We recently closed our exhibit, but we still do schools and lectures and programs uh -huh. and birthday parties. Oh, that's great. Birthday party, yeah. Yeah, we do How the most cool exciting birthday be? parties. Who doesn't want an alligator in their living room for their birthday party? Talk about yeah. a story or to a tell on Monday, right? Yep. And we're opening back up in uh, Onlyville uh, in a couple weeks. Uh -huh. We have a new location. Very right. cool. Tell me a little bit about the python here. That's an albino Burmese python. He's yeah. a constrictor, which means he squeezes his food. And he is, right? You said he is he's, like... He's squeezing. Mm -hmm. I bet you this thing weighs uh, close to 50 pounds. He's about a 50-pound yeah. python. Yeah, he's, he's 12 feet long. Didn't yeah. Brittany dance with one of these? I think she did. Yeah. <laughs> It's going around. It's, 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 it reminds me of an old horse collar I used to wear when I played football. Back Is that in the day. really? Yeah, back in the day. That's Except how we do our drills. Move, you know what I mean? Now tell me the difference. You're holding that guy there. Tell me the difference. <laughs> oh, we jumped again. We jumped. Okay, Rick, feet. just <laughs> below your feet. Uh, right. out, gecko on the highway. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Tell me the difference between an alligator and a crocodile. I'm always curious. Well, alligators come from Florida, and they're not really terribly dangerous. They don't eat people. In Australia and Africa, the crocodiles actually will attack people. Really? really? That's right. But if you're in Florida, there are crocodiles and alligators. Mm -hmm. And on the crocodiles, all the teeth will show when the mouth is closed. Right. But on the alligator, only some of the teeth will show when the mouth is closed. Right. The croc's more aggressive, isn't it? Crocs are way more aggressive. Yeah. What I also thought was interesting is um, I'm going to hope that there's no other animals in here, but you actually keep him yep. in this big bag. Well, he travels from place to place in the bag, and when his eyes are covered, he calms right down. He it's just like chills out. like a horse's eyes, right? Just like that, yep. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. So now, you guys go to um, birthday parties. Do you also go to schools and we stuff? Is schools. that what you're saying? Yep, school programs during school, after school, um, before school. Uh, with the economy the way it is, it might be a great gift for somebody to send us to their yeah. kids' school. Yeah, that it's is a It's very, very affordable. They can see it on our website. I have to say one other thing. Our, our director just pointed this out. For a tortoise and what is stereotypically known about a tortoise, uh, your tortoise is halfway across our studio yeah, right now, uh, which, is, uh, which is okay. I just want to warn Courtney oh, yeah. and Ben to watch out because uh, there he goes. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for coming yeah, right. and thank sharing you very this. Much. I and uh, it. hopefully we can corral all these animals because I know we still yeah. got a, a yeah, we'll do we'll do an these. inventory. Well, I, know, okay. I know where the python yes. is. Yeah, where'd the scorpion go? Please do an exhaustive ah. inventory before you leave. That's great. Regal right. Reptiles, if you want more information, all you have to do is head over to foxprovidence.com. Uh, ben, come on in. Coming up next on the road show, move over Teletubbies. There's a new kids show in town that your children will love, and they actually help out a very worthy cause. Yeah, we're back in the kitchen making spaghetti for today's recipe. Fox <laughs> He's going to need to put that down. And make it tonight. I got this thing around my neck and killing me. <laughs>